Blossom Block, which was the one I used to do about three years ago. Uh, and it's um, the right next door to the side of Fox that I'm doing now, so I shot over there and dropped some traps. And today, but I'm not very hopeful here at the moment, not a lot of shine around, a little bit right down the bottom, but uh, hell of a look. Yeah, good on ZL2 CTM just uh, playing around with the radio um, set up as a uh, direct conversion receiver uh, just to see if the blocks, the various blocks are working. So at the moment, um, what was interesting, the, the RF amplifier that uh, we made up with that MPAS um, 10, I think it was, uh, while it worked really well on the bench, um, with a, with a nice resistive load um, and the like. It didn't actually perform that well in the circuit, which is interesting. I've, I've taken off one of the transformers and reused it on another little one. Um, I suspect what was happening is it was getting uh, quite a reactance, um, probably capacitor, or I should say inductive or capacitance coming in from uh, that bandpass filter that was just really upsetting it. Um, so it didn't actually perform that well. So I tried a couple of different things. On the 80 meter band, um, swapping out that 560 picofarad bypass capacitor on the emitter resistor um, certainly made it perform a lot better on 80 meters. In fact, it actually performed really well on 80 meters, but uh, didn't perform so well up on 40 meters. Um, so that was quite interesting. So for the purposes of this particular test now, I'm just using the same amplifier that I had a while back. Um, this one here. The difference in this one, I set up a um, an e, uh, emitter current of 42 milliamps um, as a way of reducing that little RE, so that's 26 over IE in milliamps. Um, and by doing that, uh, I drove the input uh, resistance right down to 50 ohms. So there's no matching um, transformer there, it's just directly 50 ohms straight in. Um, it runs a little bit warm, nothing, nothing too bad, but... Uh, um, yeah, like I say, that's why I sort of I tried to do something a little bit different this time. Um, what I think I will do, I'm going to continue working on the radio in terms of um, the IF filters. Um, and I think it, later on I'll double back around and have another play with the RF amplifier. But um, may go for either a discrete, the 3904, or maybe a BC547. Um, or may even do um, a couple of J310s and have a variable DC voltage on um, that second uh, CAS code J310 to set the gain. But um, like I said, this is all about experimenting and, and having fun and enjoying it, so uh, we'll keep going from there. Now a couple of things, um, uh, in terms of uh, that trim pot on the mixer there, um, what I will do is I'll just turn the oscilloscope on and I will scope the output of that mixer. So the output is the uh, the yellow wire there. So if we can do that without destroying anything, just there. And we can crank that right up. So if we go up to the scope here, we can hopefully see if we can turn the intensity up. And I'll just tune off that trim pot subtly, and we can see. You can see there just it's, I'm right up on the highest possible amplification on the X value I can get. But I'm just tweaking it there and just looking for that null, which is around there somewhere. And that's and that's all I do basically to um, to to null out that uh, that uh, that trim pot. And it's looking there, look like it's pretty well um, centered. So and that's pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, I think yeah, like I say, next steps will be to um, keep playing around with the design. Um, it heaps of gain on that amplifier, which is good. Um, as I mentioned a while back, I was quite keen for the the IF amplifiers to play around with this um, this uh, Plessy bidirectional amplifier uh, setup here. Uh, so depending on which way that six volts is selected, um, either you get uh, amplification in one direction or amplification in the other. So um, notionally, this will be on receive and this will be on transmit. But what I do want to do, I want to um, uh, and uh, interesting too, this is set up for uh, for 50, um, 50 ohms input and output impedance. But what I do want to do, I want to see if I can sort of reverse engineer this and try and work out um, 
what some of the design parameters were because I wouldn't mind seeing if I can convert this up to 13.8 volts. Um, that'd be interesting to see. Uh, and if I do, then you know, maybe I have to sacrifice that 50 ohms and then just have a matching uh, transformer um, between which will be the uh, the BF the bandpass filter on this side. Um, it's actually a mixer and the crystal filter and vice versa on the other side. So yeah, so something to play around with and um, probably utilize LT Spice there um, to to do some simulations and and try and work out what the, the maximum power transfer is and the like. Um, um, for any variations in the biasing voltages. Anyway, so something to play around with. It's all about experimenting and playing. So that's all I wanted to do there. Just a uh, just a quick video, just to, to cover it off. Um, 80 meters is extremely noisy. It's a it's a shocker. But uh, interesting enough, I'll just disconnect the antenna. So this is why there. So it's deathly quiet. Um, got the full volume. So that's that's full volume there. Uh, can't hear any rotary encoder noise, which is great. So um, sometimes you get, you can get, depending if you get uh, earth loops and swishing sounds, but there's none of that, which is great. Let me just turn that back down again and hook up the antenna. Now we're back in business. So that's certainly warm enough there. Bearing in mind that uh, the only amplification of this whole radio at the moment is the input RF amplifier there, and uh, the AF amplifier running over the back. Right out, we'll all uh, I'll leave it there, 73s, and um, we'll start working on those IFMs and then reconfigure the whole radio to be uh, a super hit. So we'll put in the crystal filter, um, we'll get the other uh, homebrew DBM out um, with the two amplifiers, and uh, like I say, tune up the BFO and the VFO and, um, and see how we go. Okay, 73s all.